My name is Barry Jennings. Um, I'm 52 years old. Um, I've worked for, for 33 years at one location. Um, basically, like I said, I'm married, uh, father of uh, four. As I told you guys before, it's very, it's very uh, funny. I was on my way to work, and uh, traffic was excellent. I received a call that. Uh, a small Cessna had hit the uh, World Trade Center. And I was asked to go and uh, man the uh, Office of Emergency Management at the World Trade Center 7 on the 23rd floor. As I arrived there, there were police all in the lobby. They, um, they showed me the way to the elevator. We got up to the uh, 23rd floor. Me and Mr. Hess, who I didn't know was Mr. Hess at the time, we got to the 23rd floor. Uh, we couldn't get in. We had to go back down. Then security and police took us to the freight elevators where they took us back up and we did get in. Upon arriving into the OEM uh, EOC, we noticed that everybody was gone. I saw coffee that was on a desk. Still, the smoke was still coming off the coffee. I saw, I saw uh, half-eaten sandwiches. And. Uh, only me, Mr. Hess, was up there. Um, after I called several individuals, one individual told me that um, to leave and leave right away. Mr. Hess came running back in. He said, we're the only ones up here. We got to get out of here. He found the stairwell. So we, we subsequently went to the stairwell and we're going down the stairs. When we reached the eighth or the sixth floor, the landing that we were standing on gave way. There was an explosion, and the landing gave way. And we're, I was left there hanging. I had to climb back up, and now I had to walk back up to the eighth floor. After getting to the eighth floor, everything was dark. It was dark, and it was very, very hot. Very hot. Um, I asked Mr. Hess to test the phones as I took a fire extinguisher and broke out the windows. The firefighters came. They came to the window, and they because I was going to come out on the fire hose. I didn't want to stay there any longer. It was too hot. I was going to come out on the fire hose. They came to the window. And they said, they started yelling, do not do that. It won't hold you. And then they ran away. See, I didn't know what was going on. That's when one, the first tower fell. When they started running, the first tower was coming down. I had, no, I had no way of knowing that. Then I saw them come back. Now I saw them come back with more concern on their faces. And then they ran away again. The second tower fell. So as they turned and ran the second time, the guy said, don't worry, we'll be back for you. And they did come back. This time they came back with 10 firefighters. Um, and they kept asking, where are you? We don't know where you are. I said, I'm on the north side of the building because when I was on the stairs, I saw north side. Excuse me. Uh, all this time, I'm hearing all type of explosions. All this time, I'm hearing explosions. When they finally got to us, and they took us down to what, what they, they uh, called the lobby, because I asked them, I said, when we got down there, I said, where are we? He said, this was the lobby. And I said, you got to be kidding me. It was total ruins. Total ruins. Now, keep in mind, when I came in there, the lobby had nice escalators. It was a huge lobby. And for me to see what I saw, it was unbelievable. And the firefighter that took us down kept saying, do not look down. And I kept saying, why? He said, do not look down. And we were stepping over people. And you know you can feel when you're stepping over people. They took us out through a hole that the, I don't know who made this hole in this wall. That's how they got us out. They took us out through a hole, through the wall, to safety. Well, I'm just confused about one thing and one thing only. Why World Trade Center 7 went down in the first place? I'm very confused about that. I know what I heard. I heard explosions. The, the, the um, expl explanation I got was it was the uh, fuel oil tank. I'm an old boiler guy. If it was a fuel oil tank, it would have been one side of the building. When I got to that lobby, the lobby was totally destroyed. It looked like King Kong had came through it and stepped on it. And I, it was so destroyed, I didn't know where I was. And it was so destroyed, they had to take me out through a hole in the wall. 
a makeshift hole that I believe the fire department made to get me out, me and Mr. Hess out. Um, they called me down. Which one? They were doing, um, was, I, think it was the, um, I, know, I think it was part of the 9-11 Commission. So it, was it the hearings at the new school? No, no, no I can't yeah. tell you where it was because. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, but they called me down there and they, they asked me the same questions that you guys are asking. And um, at that point they said, okay, thank you. And they sent me on my way. And yeah, you told them pretty much everything you just told us. Yes. You were in the building, got rock line, explosion, yes. all that. Yes. And you know that they didn't mention building seven once in the commission report. I told them that's where I was. <laughs> no, that's I know, where but, I was. But you, you know that they didn't mention the building at all. I didn't, you know, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't give it too much thought. Uh -huh. I thought they were just, do, I thought they were just doing, a, you know, an into a report or an investigation on as to what happened. They got my point of view, and I, ha I haven't heard any more from them. No, no, no. That, 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 the, the, the explanation that I got is about a fuel oil tank. No, no, no. So I heard the explosions, and I, and and then the key thing was when the police officer came to me. He said, we got reports of more explosions, so you have to run. Uh -huh. Big talk. And that's after both towers have fell, correct? Yes, yes. Okay. When we made it back to the eighth floor, as I told you earlier, yes. both buildings were still standing because I looked two, I looked one way, looked the other way, now there's nothing there. When I got to the sixth floor, before all this happened, when I got to the sixth floor, there was an explosion. That's what forced us back to the eighth floor. Both buildings were still standing. Keep in mind, I told you the fire department came and ran. They came twice. Why? Because building tower one fell, then tower two fell. And then when they came back, they came back with all concern now, like to get me the hell out of there. And, and they did. And we got out of there. I got in the building way before, a little before nine, a little after nine. Not, not, I didn't get out of there until like one. Yeah. That's right, because the news report with Michael Hess was approximately right. around 1 p.m. Mm -hmm. My mind is still there. You know, um, that day I'll never forget. And the, the explanations that were given to me is totally unacceptable. Totally unacceptable. Because as I stated, I was there. I lived it. I lived through it. Actually, I thought I was going to die that day. Because me and Michael Hess did get on our knees and start praying. When we saw that there was nobody coming, there was no hope. We did get on our knees and start praying. Uh, and then there was a fireman that shined the light and says, anybody in here? Those are the sweetest words I ever heard. Is there anybody in here? And, and I, at that time, I told Mike, I said, Mike, you better get under the desk and pray to who you're going to pray to, because I'm going to pray to who I'm going to pray to, because it doesn't look like we're going to make it. And that's when that fireman came and, and saved our lives. And it wasn't until some years later that I testified in front of them. It was, and it was, it was very... Uh, to, to tell you, it was very scary because they, they, they looked like very important people. Yeah. They were questioning me about certain things. And, um, I don't know if they liked the answers I gave. I can pretty, I, I can care less. I gave what I, my account of it, the truth, and that was it. And to my surprise, uh, I was um, back, in, back in the office. Uh, uh, secretaries and things that were cleaning me up. I was disheveled. I even started crying uh, because of, you know, the lives that were lost. And, and I was lucky enough to get, to get out of there. When I got home, I sat down in front of the TV and I, my wife said, why do you keep watching this? Why do you keep, I couldn't stop watching it. And that's when I found out Building 7 came down. I was so surprised. And I'm saying to myself, why did that building come down? And I knew why it came down, because of the explosions. And it was not no fuel oil tanks.